The iOS 18 beta has introduced several significant bugs that have affected the user experience. One of the most prominent issues is rapid battery drain, with devices losing charge much faster than usual. Performance problems such as sluggish animations, app crashes, and unresponsive interfaces have also been widely reported. Connectivity has taken a hit as well, with frequent Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular disconnections, and slow internet speeds also taking place. Now, many third-party apps are experiencing compatibility issues leading to crashes and unexpected behavior. Overheating is another concern with devices running hotter than normal. Users have also encountered various UI glitches, including misaligned text, flickering screens, and improperly displayed interface elements. Notifications are problematic, often delayed or entirely absent. Additionally, the camera app and media playback have not been immune to bugs, with crashes and degraded photo and video quality being common complaints. These issues are typical in beta software, as developers work to identify and resolve problems before the final release. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Dr. Phone channel. My name is Francisco and today we will be talking about some of the bugs that have been introduced with iOS 18 beta and a potential solution by the end that could help with getting you out of a tough spot if you happen to get stuck due to a bug on your device. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. And we're going to be starting off with part one, biggest bugs introduced with iOS 18 beta. Now, many people have downloaded the beta, which means that we do have lots of testers out in the wild, which does include me, as I've been on the beta since day one, and right now we're up to beta three. With that said, there are lots of bugs that generally come with beta, which is perfectly normal, since this kind of software is available to people who want to test new features ahead of the official release. Users have reported several significant bugs in the iOS 18 beta, some of the most commonly encountered issues include the following. Battery drain. Rapid battery depletion is a frequent complaint, with devices losing charge much faster than usual. I have actually noticed this, and I don't think that this is an issue with aging on the device, since I only have the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I caught myself having roughly 10 to 15% less battery by the end of the evening than I am used to, which means that I actually end up plugging in my phone earlier than usual. My usage really has remained largely the same, but this does seem to be a prevalent issue with some of us who downloaded this beta. Performance issues. Sluggish performance, including laggy animations, app crashes, and unresponsive interfaces has been noted. I've also come across this problem myself, and while it isn't that persistent on my device, it has still come up. Sometimes apps stutter before opening, and that even includes Apple-specific apps, which is a little puzzling, but it does happen with beta software still. Connectivity problems. Issues with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular connectivity are common, including frequent disconnections and slow internet speeds. This also has come up for me at very random times when I'm using my device like normal, but load times on sites and YouTube, for example, become much longer than I am used to. Granted, this video is being filmed in early July here in New York, so it could also just have to do with the fact that it is very hot outside and that could be affecting service in my area. But I'm not too sure about that. I think it is tied to the beta ultimately. App compatibility. Many third-party apps may not work correctly, leading to crashes, freezes, or unexpected behavior. This is a big one because I've used apps like the Amazon app and for the first time ever, I started experiencing some odd bugs on here and odd crashing moments from here too. The screen pretty much just glitches out on me and then it shuts down. I couldn't reproduce this on camera, but it has had happened with this app mostly. Overheating. Devices running the beta may overheat more than usual, potentially leading to reduced performance and comfort. This one in particular has not really affected me whatsoever, as I find that my iPhone stays relatively normal and doesn't heat so much for me. I do still acknowledge that others have experienced this and may have heating issues due to the beta. UI glitches. Visual bugs, such as misaligned text, flickering screens, and interface elements not displaying correctly have been reported, but again, this one hasn't really come into play for me, so I can't really speak much on it as of now. Notification issues. Notifications may not appear as expected, including delayed notifications or no notifications at all. This has actually happened to me, as oftentimes I know that I received a message because I'm in the messages app, but I haven't received a notification. So it's not that, that the message thread itself is actually open, but more so that I am in the messages app just by itself looking through the many messages that I've received from other people and I still don't even get a notification about it. No feedback whatsoever. 
Not even a vibration, ringing, or visual notification appears on screen, sometimes for me. Camera and media bug. Problems with the camera app such as crashes and poor photo slash video quality, along with issues playing media files are common. This one hasn't really targeted me, but it does come up for other testers. These bugs are typical in beta software as developers work to identify and fix issues before the final release. However, the iOS 18 beta has introduced several severe bugs that have significantly impacted users. System crashes have become frequent and unpredictable, rendering devices unusable until restarted. Some users have experienced unexpected data loss and, in some extreme cases, their devices have become completely unresponsive or bricked as we are so used to calling it nowadays. There have been reports of severe battery drain, with devices losing substantial charge within minutes. Critical connectivity issues have also surfaced, affecting Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular networks, sometimes making it impossible to connect. Additionally, there are concerns about new security vulnerabilities, corruption of essential system apps, and failures in biometric authentication methods like Face ID and Touch ID if you're using an older device, all of which have heightened the risks associated with using this beta version. And issues like these are the ones that we seek to try to help you fix with this next step. Part 2 how to potentially fix issues caused by the beta. Wondershare Dr. Phone offers a comprehensive suite of tools for managing and maintaining mobile devices, making it an invaluable resource for users. Among its many features are data recovery, phone backup, data transfer, and system repair. The system repair module in particular stands out for its ability to address severe issues that users may encounter, such as those introduced by the iOS 18 beta. This module can resolve common iOS problems like system crashes, device bricking, severe battery drain, and connectivity issues. So now, by providing a straightforward user-friendly interface, it allows users to revert their devices to a stable state without data loss or the need for technical expertise. So this will allow you to go back to a different version of iOS as available through this software. This makes Wondershare Dr. Phone an essential tool for anyone dealing with the unpredictability of beta software or other critical system malfunctions. With that said, let's try to explore the steps to fix these issues through this software. Granted, these fixes won't actually fix the beta for you and magically make it more stable. It will just fix your device if it happens to get stuck somewhere with no way out, such as the issues that we mentioned above. So to free your device and bring it back to your initial screen, these will be the best solutions available to us. So just go ahead and follow the steps coming right up. So with that said, let's try to explore the steps to fixing these issues through the software. Granted, these fixes won't actually fix the beta and magically make it more stable. However, you do have the opportunity to re install the beta through this method. It will just fix your device if it happens to get stuck somewhere with no way out, such as the issues that we mentioned earlier. So to free your device and bring it back to your initial screen while potentially reinstalling the beta or just going back to a more stable version of iOS, these will be the best solutions available to us. So just follow the steps coming right up. First, download and install Dr. Phone. So visit the Wondershare Dr. Phone website by clicking on the link in the description. Open the Dr. Phone application and click on the toolbox tab and choose Choose the system repair option from the main interface. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer. Ensure that the device is detected by Dr. Phone. So Dr. Phone offers two modes, standard mode, which fixes common issues without data loss, and advanced mode, which resolves more severe issues but may result in data loss. So just select the mode that best suits your needs. But in this case, we only need to select standard repair in order to fix many of the more severe issues caused by iOS 18 beta while still being able to retain all of your data. Now Dr. Phone will detect your device model and display the available firmware versions. Choose the the appropriate firmware and click download to obtain the firmware package. Ideally, you would want to select the latest one, which will be the one shown on top. Or if you only see one available for your device, click on the one shown for you. Start the repair process. Once the firmware is downloaded, click fix now to begin the repair process. Dr. Phone will start installing the new firmware on your device from there. So the repair process may take some time. Ensure your device remains connected to your computer and do not interrupt the process. After the repair process is finished, your device will restart, and you should see that the issues have been resolved. If you select an advanced mode instead, you might need to restore your data from a backup after the fact. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. Let us know in the comments if the solution worked for you, and if it hasn't, then just go ahead and tell us which phone breaking bugs you've been encountering and include any of your questions down below as well. Please make sure to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on when a new video comes out, and until next time, have a great rest of the day.